40 years. And I started doing photography after the second hand camera that I inherited. And didn't know what I was doing, just knew that the film was expensive. And, um, but it got me and I got into it and I started taking pictures of birds and I started trying to get closer and closer to the birds and get better and better pictures. And then I started thinking, you know, that's a good picture of a bird, but I want to do something more artistic. So I started looking at things that way. And then I started getting the landscapes. I started using a telephoto lens, and the first time I got a wide-angle lens and I looked at the viewfinder, it just looked weird. It was strange looking. But now I use wide-angle lens a lot. When I, and the Sanibel photograph is a favorite subject. I have photographed it a lot. I bet I photographed the Sanibel White House more than even. Anyhow, I got a new camera recently. Um, which is a full-frame digital camera. I had a fairly wide-angle lens on it, and I had a filter holder. You could slide filters in it and that sort of thing. I don't think I had a filter in it when I made it, but it was tilted slightly, so it cut off the corners upper and bottom because it sees out that way, so you can see the filter holes. So this actually got chopped in, and I lost about an inch of it off the edge of it. But, um, when I'm trying to do landscapes, you know, Ansel Adams had mountains and Yosemite and that sort of thing, and we don't have that kind of thing around here. So I, I like clouds, and I like reflections, and this has got them both, and I was standing back in about ankle deep water, I think. Um, I always shoot from a tripod, that's why I'm backing into the water. And you can see right here, this was like a tidal pool. It was at low tide and you can see the edge of the sand. And if I backed up any further, then I lost the tip of the lighthouse under the sand. So, you know, in an awful lot of cases, the scene controls the photographer instead of the other way around. So, anyhow. That's, that's my latest photograph of the Sanibel.